Hello from Bryson City. It's time for another art lesson. I'm a little bit late because I had to procure an object this morning for our lesson. We're going to be talking about um, shading. So make sure you have pencils and paper. And this morning I am not inside. I am outside. So um, I'm kind of out here on the porch, but um, basically uh, I'm outside because I wanted to remind everybody while um, while we're at home that um, it's probably best uh, to get outside occasionally, <laughs> get outside and get some fresh air, go for a walk. Uh, I'm sure we all have fabulous yards that we can all um, get out into and do a little work and stuff, so um, still be safe. Anyway, so today, shading. I'm going to start off with a few things um, to kind of let you guys um, uh, give you an idea of what shading entails and what it involves and that kind of stuff. Um, just uh, real quick, you know, some, some quick pointers. And then uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll move on to actually sketching the, my uh, test object here because... I think the lighting out here is pretty nice. So anyway, all right, so let's switch it around here. All right. So here's my paper. So we're going to start off, uh, when we talk about shading, uh, we need to talk about um, shapes and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do draw a box. Again, using that sketching skill, real rough, nothing special. So there's a box, then we'll draw a can or a cylinder. We'll also draw an open box. We'll have fun with this later too. And let's see, <clears throat> let's do one more here, um, I'll draw a sphere, which later will become an apple, so that'll be my reminder. <clears throat> Alright, so when you're doing shapes and shading, the thing you have to remember is where is your light coming from? So for example, Here's my light source. And the light source is shining like this. So that means as the light comes this way, the shadow is going to come this way. There's going to be a lot of direct light here. So you don't need a whole bunch. There'll be some diffuse light because as the light goes over, it's going to be bright here but not so bright here. So <clears throat> when you shade, there are several different ways. One is just, of course, take your pencil, turn it sideways and just like that. You can also, um, I'll demonstrate on this side, you can also do uh, what's called cross hatching. Just like that. Now the only thing you don't want to do when you shade is you don't want to color it in with your pencil like it's a crayon. You don't want to color it in and then take your finger and go That's just, <clears throat> number one, unless you're wanting to get messy. Sometimes that's good. But um, it doesn't create um, a field that texturally looks really cool. Um, I, th I like to build up a lot of lines. And I like to build up lines that... Um, as you're um, looking at it, give it a feeling of depth and volume. So, there we go. And now I'm using that 6B pencil. If you can, there we go. 6B. 
So I'm going to put a really dark line right here and a really dark line right here. Notice I haven't gone all the way up against the shape, my shadow, my field here behind it to, to get, kind of get a little lighter as it gets up against the shape to give it some emphasis to um, make it appear like it's sitting down. All right. Using the same light source here, here's our cylinder. Our cylinder is going to look like this. It's going to have a nice shadow behind it. And the cylinder is round. So when you draw, when you shade your cylinder, your can, go ahead and bring those lines around. And we go down here like this. top of the can it's going to get a little bit of light actually if you want it to be really be a can it would have a lip here and that lip is going to have a little bit of a shadow all right and while we're at it let's go ahead and draw our draw our tab in here and whatever kind of drink um, I don't know what kind of drink y'all like, so we'll just put that in there, make it look like um, something that uh, you might drink. No copyright infringement today. <laughs> um, our light source, as it goes up towards this box, we're going to go a different way. So like this. Draw here in the back. Slide it up so you guys can see. Now, we've got the inside of this box here. The top of this is going to be getting a lot of light. The bottom is going to be getting not so much. And this sidewall is going to be getting a little bit too. So it's okay to put a little shading in here, just like that. time. Some more lines here. There we go. <clears throat> Just like that. All right, now, sphere. Light's coming at it. Light's going to be hitting right here. So I, I do this uh, uh, in class, and drawing class. So the light is hitting right here. So that means as it goes out this way, it's going to become darker. So I've already kind of created these rings. So I know back here it's going to be dark. Here it's going to be a little bit lighter. Here it's going to be a whole lot lighter. Almost completely light right here. And then kind of done. When I work on spheres, I like to uh, move my hand around, move all over the page. Remember, a little darker back here. I don't have an eraser, but if I had an eraser with me, I'd come through and kind of soften this up. Um, you can also use a blending stump, which um, if you ever buy one of those drawing kits, it's the rolled up piece of paper that looks kind of like this. So it's just, it'll have uh, points where you can tear it off or you can actually stick it in a pencil sharpener. Anyway, you take your blending stump, 
kind of like the pencil here, and you can kind of blend all this together, smooth out, get rid of some of this other stuff. Um, I said earlier this is going to be an apple, so there's my stem. We're going to darken it up right here. This apple needs a leaf. Just like that. So to get your leaf, again, really simple. Just a few lines and a couple lines inside to signify the center of the leaf and a couple veins. And that's it. That's all you have to do for that. So now, drawing from life, when you do a still life, so as you can see, light is coming from mostly this direction, right here, like this, which is creating the shadow behind it. There's some shadow here, shadow on the handle, and the entire back side of this is in shadow, but check this out. Where the pot changes directions, this little jug has a edge right here. So shadow and then the light actually carries around on this flat surface right through here. So we're going to start off to capture this. We'll start here with the top. Handle. Again, just sketching. Now all this back here is a shadow. And here's our shadow coming off of the jar and just for a point of reference here's these strange lines in the top of this table edge of the table too if you want to go that way make it look bigger by drawing the table Now, our shadow, our light source, is coming from this way. So, inside of that's going to be dark. Backside here, you get a little bit of this backside of this handle. Right here. Now we'll get this shadow down here. And a little bit more right there. There 
There we go. <clears throat> so that's roughly, more or less, what we've got going on here with the shadow, the light source. A lot of this, again, um, like when we did the wire drawings um, yesterday, you know, it's it's observation. It's looking at where the shadow is, looking at the shapes, looking at the form, and then just copying that down. So. Um, I'm sure we have lots of cool stuff that we can look at and draw, so, and before I'm finished, I had somebody, um, uh, I think the request yesterday was an awesome, an awesome unicorn, so I don't, I don't know, I'm not, uh, when it comes to fantasy stuff, I'm not, uh, not the best. I leave that to my daughter. She's pretty good. But we can try. We can see what we can come up with. Awesome that is. Here we go. This this will help. So I encourage you guys to have fun with your drawings too because you know, it doesn't all need to be serious. It can be fun, too. If I had my blue colored pencil, you guys could figure out what that is. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, there we go. That's for today. And reminder, make sure you post your drawings. Uh, I'd like to see them. Post your drawings in the comments below the video. Uh, also, any requests for um, upcoming lessons, I'm going to do that. Uh, next week, I think I'm going to try and shift over and do a little bit of painting. So I've had a couple of people ask for that. So uh, any other requests? More Magical unicorns, Smurfs, uh, still life, anything you guys want to see, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, have a great day and stay safe out there.